Yeah, hello. Today is a quick game playing Striker DPE against Sword Sword Tenny. This recorded game is perfect for temple to give you a demonstrate the latest version of this deck. Tenny monsters have effect that lets them special summon when controlling no effect monster. Using that Prastuna opponent was able to go into Barney. Now let's attempt to break Barney, negate any effect. Use Ray to link summon Striker. Because if the link Striker gets removed, Ray has graveyard effect that bring her back. If Hyatt didn't get negated here, I would probably send Engage and grab using Recovery, switching Striker links to Big Negate, and also fill Graveyard since we have others, but opponent doesn't bother. Now this me and Kai. Now finally reacted to my multi role, probably afraid of its ability to fill resources. Remember opponent didn't know what cards I have left. In theory I could have going to Z, trigger banish and force him to negate, then bring back Ray, use striker spell, then bring them back with multi roll. With negate out of the way, using two effect monsters link summon Barret, use its effect send fusion destiny to summon DPE, chain code by to counter by one negate effect. Speeding up this part, since not much happening, then use DPE to remove Barney. Trigger DPE destroyed effect to special summon a hero monster from graveyard on standby. Rare to see Sword Soul Tenny to break. My assumption is his hand is now full of hand traps. Let's play them out to show you the combo with opponent Barney in graveyard. Trigger dash a graveyard effect to special summon the tunnel we just drew. Note that I could go straight into Serene, since Byron is a spellcaster. Again, just want to break Miguel and fill graveyard with monsters. How can we act as cat? Here we go, Rocky Boy. Chain Destiny Hero destroy effect to remove himself before he gets released by Nibu because his revive effect only works if he is destroyed. Gamma Negate isn't necessary here because only target. I have on field on my own monsters when DPE resolved and since his revive effect is separate, it wouldn't stop that either. Although end result wouldn't change because we would have Barney Negate. Now time to use Abras. Target 5 monsters in graveyard and return them to Dead Dendro. 2 cards. I chose to return Kalki, Selene and Bala because I haven't used that Keskond yet. Empty my hand and trigger Celestial Graveyard Effect. Banish himself and another hero monster. Draw 2 cards. Link Ray into Hyatip for her wind attribute. Using 2 monsters, including a wind monster. Link summon wind the wind charmer. Burdened. Use her effect to special summon a wind monster from opponent graveyard to where she points to, and the target is of course Barney. She is added to the deck because overabundant of sword sword decks. Another right now, as they often choose Barney as one of the boss monster. We also have easy access to wind attribute by using Hayata. By the way, the correct order here should be engaged before using wind charmer effect. But I wanted to record it as soon as possible before opponent surrender. It's hard to record for video material, when people always choose to surrender even its last hit, which takes one second. This makes some missions nearly impossible, for example decking a true opponent on turn 1. Here is an overview of the deck, a link is also provided in the description. Same reason for Wind Charmer, I also wanted a Water Charmer to steal Draghi and Cheng Ying, which are used in Soul Soul decks. But it is very hard to make room in extra deck. Thank you for watching.